Hello YouTube! Now today, I made a really special mock, and it's my own mini city! Now you're probably wondering, how long did this take? Well, the answer to that is really reasonable. This took almost like five months, five to six months. And the other times, I was really busy. So sorry about that. This video will be split in sections. There will be a beach area, a mid area, and then the back area. And those section names were totally not made right now. Anyway, all right, let's start with the beach area first. Okay, right off the bat, you would see the Statue of Liberty. Now, I'm not sure if this is New York Statue of Liberty, I'm sorry, Liberty, or this is just something that isn't Statue of Liberty, but just looks exactly like it. Now, I got this from the Lego store. Well, it was from the Pick-A-Brick. Pick and it was while I was trying to get these pieces. So, yeah. Alright, now, as you can see, there's like some docks right here. Only two. There's like a beach here. And then, there's like, um... Uh, some water here now originally i just had some blue base plates i mean blue bit no blue um plates right here but i changed it with studs because i look at some other people's mocks and no i'm not copying i'm just saying like it was really nice for this to happen you know because it makes it more lively not just plain blue and right here you got some like flower trees i don't know what you call them some plants as you can see there's some there but we'll go there later and then you got some like you know like hotels probably like this one you got a music disc store you know like for the beach or something like that and yeah it's basically it for the beach area and it's like one of my favorite parts of the city all right now let's go to the middle section of the city Okay, so the middle section is probably, like, kind of the most important part of the city because it includes a lot of special buildings for the city. And, yeah, there's, like, a soccer stadium slash football stadium. There's, like, this Space Needle kind of place. There's, like, a basketball arena, and there's, like, a bank right here. And it, you just see a park. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean by it's really important. So, like I said, there's a soccer stadium. Now, I'll show you it close up right now. All right, so, here's a soccer stadium. Kind of looks small now that you look at it. Now that I even look at it. Because I would imagine this would look big on camera, but I mean, I guess it's not. So, here's a soccer stadium, and you can take this off. You can do this with only one hand. Okay, I did. So, here... Here, what it looks like. I can't really do like the white markings for like soccer field or football field, so yeah. I'm not really a perfectionist, whatever you call it. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for uh, the soccer field. I'm sorry, stadium, because it can be used for many things. So yeah. Alright, now it's time for the park. As you can see, you first see this mini statue. Which you can see right here. Kind of looks nice. Then you see it's above an archway. Which is pretty cool. That's like one of the first things I added to this park. Then you see some trees here. Left and right. I couldn't add that many because uh, I kind of ran out. And this would be blocked. So yeah, I didn't really want to risk that. So that's pretty much it for the park. Now it's time for this side. Now this dot... Sorry, this side... Includes like a basketball court kind of thing. Oh wait, I don't know where the entrance is. Oh yeah, the entrance is here. As you can see, kind of goes a little bit down. And then you can see there's like this weird looking building. I kind of like this building. I don't know what other people say, but kind of like the design of it. And then right here, you got the bank. And this is one of my favorite buildings. Now, I use tires, 
And then I use these translucent colors, kind of make it look a little bit nicer. So yeah, that's another building I kind of like. And then you got something similar to it, like a double A battery, what it looks like to me. You would see a bunch of these in the in the city, like over there. Of course, these two. Then you see this other one over here. So, over here, we're going to go back here once again. You can see the shield building, which I added. I don't know why. It's just a marble reference that I want to add. Then you got this nice looking building with some translucent slopes. Or just normal slopes. Kind of like this building too, because I mean, it looks awesome. Then you got this hockey stadium, which, which I call it. This was originally right over here. But I changed it because I didn't really want it for this to be blocked out by a stadium right here. I wanted the two stadiums to kind of be by each other. And then you got this gigantic space needle looking thing. And I kind of like this building. I mean, yeah, I mean, doesn't really match with the other city, but I mean, yeah, why not? I mean, it's made by a, kind of made by this. If you're wondering how the heck I did that upside down. And then there's like this overview area. So let me put that back. Then yeah, that's basically it for the Space Needle. So now, it's time for the back. Alright, now the back, I'm gonna have to do this. So you can see this side more. Now this is more like the down downtown area. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right here, you can see this little factory right here. Uh oh, pollution. Better be careful. Even though it kind of looks like ice cream, I kind of like this technique a little bit. Kind of looks cartoony-ish. Got this nice wonky little building, but I don't know where I got this from, but yeah, why not? And then you got this building right here, which looks probably new. Then you got this little orange sucker right here. I don't, I don't know what I was trying to do, but I was trying to make it look like they're trying something new. Then I love this building because... I like how it uses these pieces, and I just stopped it right here. I don't know why, I, I just really wanted to do that. And then, right here you see this building. Now this building was one of the tallest buildings in the city. It was, it would reach like all the way up to here. And it was like close to this height. And it used to be over there, but I changed it because I'm like, why would this color be as the tallest building in the city. I mean, don't get me wrong, but this color kind of looks a little weird. Kind of like it at the same time, but it's weird, I mean. Okay, so now you got these buildings, which are probably like the tallest of this downtown section. Now, what inspired me to make this is the Hudson Yards. If you don't know what the Hudson Yards is, it's a section in New York, which like, they're, like, making, like, a new area for it. So, yeah, it kind of got me making this. And this was one of the first buildings I ever made in this city. So that's why I kept it. I was thinking about switching it, but I'm like, eh, nah. I'm gonna keep it just because I want it. And then this building right here, this, like, tannish building. It's our tan building. Used to be, like, around here, but I changed it. This city looked a lot different before I actually made this video. Like, three months ago, there was a park right here. There's like, two parks. That was over there. There was no Avengers Tower. And there was no Statue of Liberty. And there was no beach area. And there wasn't this thing, which I'll get to later. Or I can say right now. You got these buildings right here. Which I don't really want you to pay attention to because that's not the main part. So, this, I can say, is one of my favorite buildings. Now, this is easy to make. You just gotta do the same exact pattern all over again. There's no other tiles you need to put there. No, it's just this. And this will make it... Oh, whoopsies. 
And this will be, like, one of the best buildings. That's, like, am I doing this right? Okay. That's, like, gonna be, like, the best building in your miniature city. I don't know. You can use it for maybe, like, a minifigure size scale city. I don't know. All right. So, here's the drool. Sorry, I can't speak today. The drool release. Okay. Let's just... Let's just call the jewelry. Uh, I can't speak. <laughs> so, yeah, the jewel uh, spot. All right, I cannot speak. Please, I don't know. Kind of have a rough day today. I don't know why. So yeah, there's that. And then you got this like Times Square thing going on with like a white street. I don't know. I just wanted to add it probably because I ran out of pieces. <clears throat> So, right here you got this, like, town hall. Kind of like a Greek-style building, I guess you can say. I mean, this was, like, the last thing I added in the city. So, yeah. Then, right here you got this crane, which can be movable, of course. Made by, like, a yellow jumper plate. Then you got Avengers Tower. Ta-da! So, if you're wondering where I got this piece, I got it from the the Lego Avengers Endgame set from, uh, what was it? The Captain America bike thing, whatever. Yeah, so I'll include three of those. So one's an extra, so yeah. So right here you got this jumper building. That's why I call it, because, I mean, you use jumper pieces like these. So I made this nice technique. I, I kind of did wish there was I had more so I can make this giant jumper tower. So, yeah, that's basically it for this city. All right, now time for the fun part. I'm going to compare almost, like, the biggest buildings... In this city so I'm gonna like compare them by size by going here and then here and then here and here so I'm gonna take the city out and I'm gonna show you the biggest buildings and the smallest building well I mean I don't really want to spend my whole time organizing this from biggest to smallest cuz I mean that's gonna be pain so I'm basically gonna take some whoopsies this thing fell I'm gonna take like, probably, like, 15 buildings, let's say, and compare them to other buildings by size. All right? All right, let's do this. All right. Now we have all of our buildings here. So, let's start off the biggest. Actually, no, let's start with the smallest. So, here you got your standard building right here. It's basically, like, a... 2x4 on a 2x4, so yeah, that's what I mean by simple. Then you got this building, which I don't really know what it is. At first, I thought it was like those clubs, those like parties, you see, like with those dance floors and stuff like that. I don't know why, it just reminds me of that. It's like a hole there. I've seen buildings with, you know, holes, so there's like some buildings in Hong Kong, you see, like... I forgot what building it is, but it was like made in like 2007. I forgot what it was. So here we have this building. I don't really know what it's supposed to be, but uh, yeah, you got two by two, two by two. I guess you can say two by two slope piece, I guess. So right here, you got this other basic building, which kind of reminds me of the uh, Twin Towers, like, like kind of like tall and just like gray and stuff like that nothing really adds to it to make it look kind of special so i mean yeah that's this building then you got this building called slope building because of the slopes it has so yeah i mean i guess it's kind of simple i mean some people don't usually use slopes on the roof i mean some people do but like not in, like, just straight. People just do, like, you know, roof style. Like, 
one slow piece opposite from each other, I guess. Like, one goes here, another one goes here. So, yeah, it's basically that one, that building. Then here, this is, like, a hotel. Like, you know how I said there's hotels kind of at that beach area? So, yeah, this is, like, one of them. Kind of reminds me of Las Vegas, like, one of those kind of curved buildings. Kind of like this. There's four macaroni Lego pieces. I guess that's what you call it. I don't really know what it's called. Then, right here, you got that statue, that monument I just showed you. Now, yeah, I, I kind of did already explain it to you, so I mean, yeah. Just a statue and an arch. That's what I call it, the arch statue. <laughs> so right here, here's the other building I think I explained. With like, I used like wheels. Like, you know, building, I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. I use them for, like, you know, just the circle shape, I guess. So, yeah. I guess these can be, like, windows and stuff like that. Here, I call this the Batman bu building. I'm not sure I told you this, but, yeah. I call this the Batman building. Or Wayne Tower, because it's kind of shaped like a W a little bit. Like this, I guess. Not really, but... Yeah, it just reminds me of a bat. Or it just reminds me of a person just putting their hands up <laughs> on like a roller coaster or something like that. And then right here, you got, I guess, the fake Statue of Liberty. I don't know. So yeah, I got this from the Lego store. The Prick of, uh, I can't even speak. <laughs> the Pick a Brick store. So yeah. I, I got a lot of these fire pieces, so there might be, I don't know, like, um, a fire mock, like, where, like, the whole entire city's on fire. I guess I'll do that one day. So right here, you got the, the orange color, I guess. I, I, I got these from, like, a Spongebob set, because they kind of had these. I already had a like another spongebob house so i'm like there's no point of having like two so i just you know destroyed one and then kept the other one i know it sounds pretty harmful to do that but i mean you know <laughs> sometimes you gotta make sacrifices right here you got this building not like there's nothing really special about it i mean it is kind of special because this is, like, kind of broke down to pieces. So, I mean, I completely forgot to put plates on these to connect them, but I completely forgot to. I don't know why. So, yeah. There's a secret I can tell you right now. I mean, there's a secret. Not here's a secret. I don't know why it's so... <laughs> can't even speak. What the heck? So, anyways. um, You got this building, and I already explained to you what it was and what it is. And how you can make it. Because it's really, really simple. It's just a zigzag. You can call this like a translucent... Like a translucent tower. So, yeah. So, right here is this building. Or one of the first buildings I ever made. So, yeah. The second tallest... Yay! We're, like, almost done with this video. You're probably bored right now of me correcting myself a thousand times. So, this is, like, supposed to be, like, oh, look at this. We're making, like, a futuristic building and stuff like that. So, yeah, I kind of took examples from Hudson Yards in New York. So, yeah. All right, now the last building of the day is another knockoff. So yeah, this, I kind of took ex inspiration from the CL, and the C, what's it called? Oh uh, yeah, Space Needle. And I also took that tower, there's like this one tower that kind of looks like this from Kuwait, I think, yeah. So yeah, there's another inspiration I got too. So you got this observer, uh, I, can't, I can't speak, sorry observation area where you can like probably eat and watch the view of the city 
there's another one. Well, probably mostly all of it. Here's like the like there's most likely stores here. Like I don't know what you call them, but I don't know the Space Needle Center. I don't know. I'll just call it that because I really don't have a name for this. I did have a name, but I completely forgot what it was. So we completed all the comparison buildings that I got for you guys. All right, that wraps up this video today. Like and subscribe for new content like this one. Sorry for my speaking errors that I make. It's kind of getting a little bit late at night, so I should probably get some rest. Mars Cars, out. Peace.